It's been months since I entered this virtual world. Against my will, I mysteriously teleported within the game I was playing. It had started out with me just trying to show a friend what I had made, but ended with me trapped. It was terrifying. To be brought somewhere foreign, with no one I once knew to help me understand what it was that had just happened. But I did find someone that cared for me. The NPC named Ivy that had been placed in the game by me while I was playing it came to life, and she cared. She, just like everything else in the game, had come to life, as though it was truly a real world. A world full of real people, real ambitions, and real emotions. My adventure soon began, and Ivy and I made a new friend named Francis, a kind yet weak adventurer who seeked a reward for a quest he had been on. My journey had taken a turn for the better, but with it came the side effects of even existing in a world that I don't belong in. I felt a corruption within myself begin to rise for the first time of many to come, but I powered through. Soon after meeting him, the three of us worked together to complete Francis's quest for him. It was a simple quest to defeat a demon and capture its essence, which has a high value among the people of this world. Soon after completing the quest, we found the camp Francis was staying in, and it had been attacked. Worried, Ivy and I headed back to the cabin we had been living in to find someone was waiting for us. A man named Victor. It was clear that his power ruled the land we resided in. I realized for the first time just how little I knew about the world I came to, just how powerless I truly was, and just how much I wanted to figure it all out. Victor seemed curious about my situation too, and that seemed to be the only reason he let me live at the time, but he made sure to make me remember who he was. After taking me down, he chased after Ivy, who had run away, and used his power to return Ivy back into her NPC form. I was shocked to discover that was even possible. My only friends in this world had been attacked, and as I was at my lowest, a dog helped me and took me to a witch. The witch had mysterious power as well and had also dealt with Victor's evil rule and eventually decided to help me, telling me I needed more demon essence. I went on the hunt to save Ivy, but during my search for a demon, I found one. It was my friend Francis, and he had been turned into one by Victor. I got the witch to help change Francis back and eventually got Ivy back as well, forging an alliance with a witch who never wanted to team up, but also knew the power of Victor required it to happen. I was overwhelmed to know I had the only people that cared for me in this land back in my life. I tried to tell them both of what had actually happened to me, but I couldn't properly get it across to them, and yet they still understood. Soon after, Francis and I decided to split up for his own safety, as it seemed I was already a target for powerful people, and so he left to train and become stronger himself. Now it's just me and Ivy again. I don't know why I was brought here, or why I feel a corrupting force inside of me. I don't even know who that Victor guy truly is, but what I do know is that I have someone to lose, and I won't stop until I know their future is safe, as well as all those they care about. I may be trapped here, but I have not given up. I will get stronger, I will find the truth, and I will secure her safety, no matter what. Hey, you ready to go? We've got a while before we reach the first town. Yeah, let's go. <sighs> well, I guess it's time, huh Ivy? We're finally uh, leaving this place. Yeah. Getting ready to go out into the world. Yeah. I'm gonna miss this place. It's like the first real home I had here. Uh, yeah. Me too. But, um, you know, it's time to make some new memories. And we've still got each other. Right, yeah, of course. <sighs> uh, do you mind if I check something real quick? Um, I... I guess. What did you need to check? Oh, uh, I just wanted one more, uh, once over of the house. Uh, make sure we, we have everything. You don't want to go yet, huh? Not really, no. I know that whatever lies beyond this forest is probably a danger waiting for us. But we're going to have to leave this place behind eventually. I mean, <laughs> if we stay here, Victor's just going to send people anyways and we're going to get attacked. He already knows where we are, you know? Yeah, you're right. I just... Wanted to see it one more time. I kind of do too. Okay, yeah. Let's do one last check, huh? And we can also just make sure we've gotten everything that we need for our trip. Right, yeah. I'm right okay. behind you. <sighs> At least it's a bright day out. So, wh what do we need to make sure? Um, tools. So, we right. have sword, right? Uh, sword. Copy. Yep. Okay, uh, we have our pickaxes. Pickaxe, got it. Uh, I have my bow. I've got my bow. Uh, do you have your food? Food. Check. Okay. I 
think that's everything. Okay, so no other reason to come back, yeah? Right. We're saying goodbye. See you later, home. We'll be back another day once we deal with Victor and anything else that lies out there. We've got to make sure we don't fall behind. Think about it. Francis is right. out there. He's, he's practicing. He's doing whatever it takes to get stronger. And you don't want to fall behind Francis, do you? <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. Onward. Let's start our journey. Come on. Oh, wait. What? Oh. <laughs> you know what? Thanks for remembering. Always close the doors, huh? Yeah. New one's gonna open for us anyways. Come on, Ivy. Oh, okay. All right. We've been traveling for a while. Don't you don't you think Are Ivy? You okay? Yeah! Yeah, I'm totally fine. I uh <coughs> <Do> you... <coughs> Okay. Do I'm you not wanna fine. take a break or I just uh, just give me a, give me a second. I just need to. Uh, uh okay. Just, um, oh man, we've been traveling for so long. Okay. Um. Uh, hey. Uh, are are you okay? Yeah, I just I just think that I've been walking for a little too long. You know. Was it that thing again? <sighs> yeah, it happens. It's still happening. Every single time I get tired, I I just seem to lose it. It's like something's right there trying to get me to notice something. But then right as I try and think about it, I lose all sight. I don't know why it keeps happening. It hasn't gone away ever since that one time I fell unconscious with you and Francis. I wish I could understand what it was. Well, maybe we'll figure it out one day, but we should try to find camp and then you can get some rest. Yeah, you're right. Let's, uh, Let's try not to walk any, you know, uh, much longer. Um, maybe we can just find a nice hill to go up on top of. Uh, right. There shouldn't be too much farther to go. All right. I'm, uh, I'm right behind you. <sighs> Man, I hope this doesn't keep going for too much longer. All right. I've just got to light the campfire. There we go. Hey, Ivy, the uh, campfire's, yeah? campfire's all made up. How's the tent coming uh, along? Uh, yeah, we're just about done. Do you want to see what's inside? Yeah, sure. Oh, wow. Hey, this tent kind of reminds me of the cabin, but on the go. Uh, yeah, we have our mats here, have uh, storage, regular crafting. Everything's pretty much ready to go. Huh. Wow, you did a great job. Um, thanks for carrying all of the tent and camping supplies, by the way. I would really carry more, but I get so easily tired holding anything else. Oh, you, you don't have to worry about it. I don't mind at all. Hey, either way, now that the, the campfire's been made, it looks like it's gonna get dark soon. You wanna just rest up, relax a little bit before it gets dark, and then, well, then we can actually sleep. But since we are out in the wilderness, maybe we should switch off sleeping and one watches over the camp? Right, yeah, that, that makes sense. Okay, cool. <sighs> Long day, huh? Yeah, uh, how are you feeling, by the way? Um, I'm alright. That thing that keeps happening to me hasn't happened since we were walking, so that- <laughs> uh, The irony, huh? Did you speak too soon? I guess. You're sure you're okay with all of this, right? Traveling? Of course. I feel like we should maybe come up with a plan soon. I mean, yeah, we're heading for whatever town we find first, but we really need to get some information on what to do next with Victor. We don't even know where Francis is, and this whole thing that's happening to me. There's so much that we don't know. I'm sure something will come up along the way, and we'll just take it one problem at a time. That's true. I guess what we should focus on is resting up, getting ready for the next adventure. Um... Man, beautiful sunset, huh? Yeah, it's really nice. Sometimes I feel like, I don't know, sometimes I wish this sh this could just last forever. And we don't have to deal with what happens tomorrow. Yeah, but tomorrow's gonna come eventually. But we're both here to face it, right? Of course. And now that we've got better weapons, tools, I mean, we're kind of set. You got us these iron swords. So, hey, that's better than a stone one. And I feel like I've been practicing a little, you know? I'm not so scared of attacking something. Not like I was with that, that demon. Not like when I freaked out. I think I can actually take something on. At least I'm more willing to try and do some damage. Well, I think before you do some damage, you should probably get some rest. I'll take the first watch. Are you sure? I mean, you've been doing yeah. so much of the work. I'm not really that tired. You go ahead. Okay, thanks. I guess you get to look at the stars, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'll be heading inside and um, wake me up when it's time for my shift, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, and uh, Ivy? Yeah? You really did good, do a good job with this tent. It uh, 
Doesn't make me feel so homesick. Thanks. Okay. I'll see you later. Good night. Good night. <sighs> okay. Started the journey. I better rest up. That glitching that keeps happening to me is still pretty persistent, but at least Ivy's got my back, and I feel pretty safe with that. <sighs> Let's do this. Time to clock out for a little. <sighs> oh, man. Oh. Let's see here. Uh, how long have I been asleep? Oh, oh, I guess I better get up. I do feel kind of well rested. Hey, I... Wait. Ivy? Uh, she's probably still keeping watch. Oh, man, I better get up. Oh, okay. I feel like an old man. Always getting tired so easily. Alright, um, I better go tell Ivy that she can, well, switch with me. She's probably been keeping watch extra long just to make sure I sleep more. Ah, <sighs> she's too kind sometimes. Hey, Ivy. Ivy? Ivy! No, 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 no. Please tell me that this is a joke. Not again! Ivy! Hello? Ivy, are you- <laughs> Ivy! This is bad, this is bad. How could this have happened? Someone must have been following us ever since that we were at the cabin. Ivy! <sighs> Calm down, Saber. If I fall over now, then I won't be able to find Ivy. I've gotta- <sighs> I've gotta stay up. Ivy! Where are you? I can't let this happen again! I've gotta find you. You've gotta be somewhere out here, right? Ivy! Hello? Come on, you've gotta be here somewhere. Ivy, please, tell me if you're around here somewhere. Ivy, please, 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 come out, Ivy. Not now. We just started. We just started our adventure and you're already gone? Ivy, where are you? Well, well, well. Huh? Who's there? You! Who are you? What did you do with Ivy? I'm Rowan, and I would worry more about yourself right now. Rowan? What did you do with Ivy? I don't care about anything else! Where did you put her? 